here I'll show you how to use our Magic Book digital backdrop. So we've got the template open here in another window. I have my cutout image. I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to click down on my image, drag it up to the tab of my template, and drop it down onto the canvas. Then I'm just going to position this um, in the template where I'd like. And um, I'm going to scale this somewhat. I'm going to hold down my shift key while I do that because we want to keep this proportional. And you can grab any one of these four corners while you're holding down your shift key to scale proportionally. And then I'll hit enter on my keyboard to apply that transformation. Okay, so now you're ready to um, come into your light layers here. And you can see this, there's some distracting sparkles in here that we probably want to get rid of. So um, I'm going to go into the light sparkles um, layer here. If we turn that on and off, you'll see that that's the one that's really kind of on his face. I'm going to grab a soft, you can see it's a soft edge brush, um, painting with black. Black is my foreground color. Um, and making sure to click on the mask layer of the light sparkles. You can tell it you're selected because it's got the four corners here. And now we'll just sort of lightly paint that off, the sparkles off his face, and anywhere else that you feel that it's just a, a bit too distracting. And just, just a little bit. I might paint a little bit more off his hand over there. Um, but I think that works. That works well. Um, now we've got some other light layers under here as well. There's a large light flare layer. If I turn that on and off, you'll see that um, these also have um, mask layers. And same thing, you're, if you're painting with your black brush in there, you can paint out any areas on there that you don't want to see. So if you wanted to maybe say, let's just touch this lightly down and maybe lighten that up somewhat, just a dab. Um, and I kind of like how that worked out there. And then our third light layer is the small light flares, um, which you'll see underneath there. And I, I kind of like how those all layer together. I think those work well. Now, the other thing with these light layers is you, um, you can control the layer modes. Right now, you'll see that the large uh, light flare is set to vivid light. Now, you're free to work with any of any of these in here and overlay soft light hard light vivid any of these will work well um, vivid light i think will work best for this one but you feel free to cycle through those um, to see what works best for your composition but you can also adjust the fill of any of these layers and you can you know bring them down somewhat bring them up um, 100 percent works best on that one for this particular layer because he's pretty dark um, but same with any of these. You can see that this one's set to 62%. Um, you can bring that up. You can bring it down. Again, um, however it works best for your composition. Um, and then we've got a couple of other light layers here. You can see these light glints here. There's three of them. Um, we've got uh, a medium, a large, and there's a small one over here. So, and they're all on there, all separate layers. So feel free to move those around to where they work best. Um, the large one, maybe we'll move that one down a little further. But however it works best in your composition. And then finally, we've got a face light layer up here. Now when we turn that on, you'll see that it adds a bit of a glow. Um, feel free to move that. Oops. We, I was actually clicked on the um, large light glint. So we'll go ahead and move that right back. Let's click on the face light layer. And now we can move that around. And you just move that around to where the glow works best. Um, and again, you can work with reducing the fill on that so that it doesn't you know, blow it out too much or so that it gives you just the right amount of light. Um, and that's it. That's how you work with our Magic Book digital backdrop. Mm -hmm.